Hello everybody, this is Bones. Today we are doing a very special uh, Let's Play This is Wrong World, a survival game that uh, I think is not going to be like anything else I've ever played. I've been very excited about doing this. Let's jump in here. Normal mode. Uh, you're new to these parts. It's probably where you should begin your ridiculous adventures. Permadeath. XP and slow health regeneration. A permadeath is not unusual for a lot of games nowadays. Roguelikes. Anyways, let's just jump in here. Uh, I watched the trailer and it intrigued me so much that I'm even wearing my silly mask today. This seems to be a fan favorite for you guys. Okay, story so far. Rocket ship go boom. Our teddy bear like creature? Half teddy bear, half uh, Ewok maybe plummets to the ground. Now this is randomly generated, from what I understand. So every time you play, you play, and permadeath means. Oh look at my guy! Oh well, he's cute, huh? <laughs> All right, I'm already into it. Uh, let's. <laughs> it's amazing. He's a ninja. He's got ninja skills. Now, uh, don't let the cuteness fool you here, guys. We, we actually have to survive. Uh, this game is basically a mix of great humor. Oh, God, that is a long fall. Oh, boy. Am I, am I doomed to be stuck up here? Maybe I can find another way around. Um, smash the rock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. Something tells me this is going to be on my... This is never leaving my computer, I can tell you now. Uh, it, it intrigued me just based on the screenshots because I had never seen another game like this. Uh, and I've been playing games since the days of Atari, guys. Uh, but this is a survival game with humor and uh, just some absurd silliness to it and uh, I like that you know it's something different it's something unique there's definitely some imagination I like the ground I like the art uh, I can't wait to see the enemies or maybe I can let's see what we got here we got uh, stone CE so is your inventory here a uh, gold nugget and <laughs> A nugget of the purest copper. So this is my uh, attack. That is my defense. So it actually has the same survival stuff any other survival game would be. There's a time on the left there. Uh, luckily this time my ugly mug in the window is not blocking anything. So we're going to grab as many rocks as we can. Uh, because I do know... Um, I did watch a little video or two about this, at least enough to get my beak wet to know what I'm going to be dealing with here. Oh, God, the little guy, don't... Oh, what the fudgesicle is that? Oh, it's a face planted. I really don't want to tangle with whatever in the hell that thing is right off the bat, so let's jump out of the way, guys, and uh, let's chop a tree, you know? And our artistic fashion here that I am loving, by the way, this is the funniest... Oh, dude, I can't even... <laughs> I, can't even I can't even not laugh. I feel like a kid. I can't even not laugh. Oh, uh, this is great, man. This is great fun right here. Um, we're going to take a look at what we can build after this. Uh, I feel like I have enough rocks to build something, but I'm guessing this is not just rock and roll, baby. I think you need, uh, I think you need some other stuff in order to build stuff too here. So we're gonna see. Uh, oh, what? Uh, maybe I need a mushroom. Can I eat those? I'm not sure. Let's grab some more trees. I'm grabbing everything I can. You, you guys know me well enough to know that when I play a game, especially a survival game, resources, resources, resources. I cannot state this enough. Grab it all. Grab it all. Oh god, no, no, no. That look, that looks... I don't even know if I got it, but that looked important. That looked like food of some sort. Uh, I don't think I can... Oh, that's not good. Is it raining? It's raining. Um, 
first of all, I like the buried landscape here. Let's see, what can I build? Uh, wooden axe, pickaxe, shovels, a fishing rod. The game has fishing. Oh, mwah. You all know how I feel about fishing in games. Uh, now this is a stick of doom. Hits multiple targets at once because it's awesome. So can we... Can't do that yet. Oh, look at all this I can build, eh? And set up a little home here. So you can, in fact, set up a home. Uh, I do know part of the gameplay from what I read on the store page is that you can decide to try and fix your rocket ship and get off the planet you're on, or you can just try to survive and, and live here. We are going to try to inhabit this strange new world uh, in this Let's Play. We're going to play for a while. Uh, while we're at it, I'm going to uh, actually make sure, because I did not, do oh god, I'm about to get my butt kicked. No! We're going to try to uh, hit left shift, oh, okay. So you tap left shift here and you lock on to an enemy. And I'm kung fuing him with the power of all my fuzzy might. And he looks like he is some sort of... Oh! Kindling killer. <laughs> I got a uh, I got an achievement there, y'all. Kindling killer. That's how tough my guy is. He beats up trees. Somewhere there's a hippie that's very mad at me. But oh well. Uh, right off the bat, I gotta tell you guys, uh, I'm, I'm loving this, man. The night is dark and full of slugs. Uh, this has a lot of humor. Uh, and might I say, it's kind of a breath of fresh air, you know? Um, if you are on my friends list, or you know me, you know a lot of the games I play are, you know, your standard, your standard mix of titles. I, I got, uh... Some uh, FPS games. I, I you know, um, I have never played a game like this, uh, and it's nice because it has a lot of humor, and I dig that. I got 23 rocks. Um, I am guessing, however, now that I got my stick of doom, gotta get a weapon right off of that. Oh, my hunger, my hunger. Good lord. Oh no. Oh, okay. Eat it if you want, but picking it, uh, but it might be poisonous. Picking it first is probably wiser. Use a shovel to impregnate the <laughs> Uh, sweet lord. Even the, even the descriptions are gold. Alright, so we're doing our trusty headbutting. This guy's noggin must be made of, like, titanium. Uh, but I love it. Uh, what should we name our little guy here? What should we name him? I feel like I should name him something. I'm going to name him Gary, in honor of our friend Gary on the channel. Um, and a lot of you have asked where Gary is. Uh, Gary's been busy, but Gary has a few new segments coming up, so don't worry about that. I don't want to take away from this game, so we'll talk about that in another video, maybe. But uh, right now, I'm, I'm just stunned. Um... You wouldn't think it would be exciting or as fun as it is to actually just headbutt trees and run around and do this stuff, but it kind of is. Um, I'm also liking the idea that every single time that you play this, you are... Ooh, what's this? that's something new there. What did I get? What? Oh, you're a seed. Alright, cool. Maybe I can make a garden for my little home. Some acorns and some seeds and... Oh, did I miss something there? I did. Grab all this, man. You don't want to waste nothing. Uh, those yetis are worrying me slightly. I don't know how tough they are. But they're big fellows. We're going to try to ninja pass them and see if I can find a better source of grubbins. I need some food. Um, I can work with this weather. I feel like I'm in Michigan. Alright, let's see here. I gotta tell you all right now that this is this is definitely gonna be one of these that I'm gonna recommend you buy. Uh, let's talk about some points in the game I like. Never played anything like this, ever. 
I played some joke games. I played some silly games. Like, uh, if you remember that baby game with your daddy that was funny for a while. Um, now a dead game. Nobody plays it. Uh, this one, to me, is amazing because it has this sense of wonder that is like a mix of adult swim mixed with... Oh, what's that? Slapped a snake. Slapped a snake. I slapped it. Alright, I got some sand. Oh, meat! Meat! Thank goodness. Can I eat meat raw? This is a slab of non vegetable. Uh, I believe I am going to now call all meat a slab of non vegetable forever. That is hilarious. What I'm looking for here is maybe some green grass. Uh, a little desert down there. Maybe there's something. Something hidden. Maybe we can adventure. Oh god. I really gotta get better with that, man. I keep... What is that silly looking thing? Is that literally a live... Oh, it's a live boulder. Oh god. Alright. You're gonna get the kung fu of your lifetime. The time for the kung fuing is now, sir. You cannot prepare for my... Uh... Iwaki and might. Boulder... Boulder smash. This is great. That's a small tree, but we're gonna... I'm gonna let that tree go for a minute. Uh, I'm actually trying to make some miles here between me and some of the ground. Um, interesting things. Uh, I'm wondering if there is a map in this game. I don't know. Uh, if not, I don't think it hurts. Just throwing that out there. There, there might be. Um, I, maybe I need a. I will probably need a. Oh God, he is friggin' huge. What in the world? Are, oh, what's that I did there? I did this little ninja roll. Oh God. That's right. That's right. I will roll you like a uh, like a zigzag. Some of you will get that reference. If you don't, then you know. Don't worry about it, you're too young. Oh, I got leather from him, so... Well... I gotta say, my little guy's pretty badass, actually. He's a... He's a tough dude. He's dying from, from hunger. So, things for him to do right now. Goals. Better source of food! Food! Okay, so the trees. The trees give us the fruits, so we need... To beat the hell out of the trees. Things you never think you'll say in a day. Um, yes, this is... Uh, I, I can't actually believe how excited I am. But honestly, guys, to compare this, uh, there's just a great sense of humor and wonder in this. This feels a lot like... And I don't care if you make fun of me. This is a little, like, kid-like giddy. Alright, I feel like I'm not just playing a survival game, but I'm genuinely having fun. Just silly, giddy fun. And, uh, it's fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's awesome. Um, I, I'm kind of stunned at the ease in which the controls work, things are polished, uh, you know, look at that, it, it's, I feel like the lock-on, uh, is good, okay, so, so far he kind of sometimes needs to face, uh, I sometimes have to make him face it away, auto-save, auto-save happens, so, that's good. Um, I don't know what that is. You are a heart-looking plant, so maybe if I plant you, you give me help. Um, I do find it interesting, because I wonder, are there worlds, then, that are more foliage? Are there things that are... Sorry, guys, you just saw me look that way, because, uh, our dog here in the studio is, uh, causing trouble. I don't know what he's doing. Um, him and the cat, man, you can't, just can't do it, guys, can't, 
turn your head from them. Exactly. And oh, potato! Potato's always good. That's not just the Irish in me. A mutant vegetable with three heads and telepathic powers. Please eat me, it begs. I will eat all this shit. A weird looking vegetable. It is watching me. I would normally say that to plant. Oh! So if I use a, a boot, that happens. And uh, we can melt things into glass. And uh, there, There's actually quite a bit here. Now I know you're wondering, Bones, when are you going to shut up and start crafting shit? Uh, and the answer is soon. Um, it looks like... Let me take care of Humpty Dumpty here. And we'll maybe try a... Oh god, it's getting dark. Are there more creatures come out at night, I wonder? I get the feeling they do. Um, let's at least start setting something up near here. I feel like this little pond area is not bad. Maybe it's horrible, I don't know. But Alright, so, how did I do this again? Q. And then there's a the house tile. So right off the bat, you get a little... Oh, alright. Oh, check that out, eh? Alright, so, uh, comma, and period, so we're gonna use those, and just tap them slightly, and we're gonna pop a piece of house down here, and press C to activate construction mode, ah, uh, check this out, so I can change the way all this looks, I can change my roof, uh, I can make this piece a wall if I want, or a piece with a wall. So that's pretty cool, eh? Um, I feel like this is going to be... What do I want to do, guys? Uh, do we want to have a piece with a wall right here? Let's lay a few piece, pieces down, and then we'll worry about the, the semantics of it if we can. Um... Not enough. What do I need? I need the wood. I knew I had enough of the other. Alright, so let's go grab some wood. I'd like to get at least four pieces down here, and then maybe we can start to make something um, resembling a home. Uh, that piece there is probably going to be like the front door. Oh god, what? Wasn't that sneaky? He just topped out of there, so you gotta be careful. Apparently when you Whoop the trees, the trees can whoop back. So that's, uh, that's a sneaky deaky thing there. Um, interesting world though, you know, I feel like it feels unique. Uh, and you know me, I, I'm a big fan of unique games, I'm a fan of games that have humor. Um, I, I'm loving this game, guys, this is, uh... You know, I mean, you're watching me. This is not taking much to be able to do. It's simple, and yet, uh, it doesn't feel like a chore. You know? Um, and I know you know what I'm talking about with that. If you have ever done... Obviously you've done, who, who hasn't now? Uh, survival games, and you know what I mean when I say... How many of them have you played that feel like a grind? Um... This one does not. So, uh, I'm definitely digging that. Let's start off here. Uh, and we're gonna maybe... Ooh, what do we want to do here? Let's do two here. Two here. And then we'll wall this in. And see what else I can give him. How's that? I'm asking you all like you're like, Yes, yes, of course. Like, I can hear you. But... Uh, you get the idea. I gotta watch his hunger, though. I'm hoping to get some more fruit from these trees, too. His health is not great. Um, but I think on one of those tips I saw that if he eats enough, he eats a certain amount, then he'll regenerate hunger slowly. I wonder if there's a plant maybe I can get that can help do that? Um... While we're at it, let's just go ahead and start chopping the trees now so I don't have to worry. Uh, now, you all know this game is one I'm hyper for if I'm wearing my space cat mask because 
the Space Cat mask only comes out with the games I am super hyped about. And, uh, man, when I saw this, I was like, this is right up my alley for humor. Um, I am ridiculous with my humor. Everybody, uh, everybody around me knows it. They laugh, for the most part. When they're not trying to, you know, slap anyone, but... Uh, no, generally, honestly, I, I, you know, a lot of love to my daughter, because she, she puts up with that. She puts up with the nonsense. Um, let's take a look here. So, what is this here that I've done? Alright, so, I feel like I have, uh, gotta rotate this. Um, so we're gonna... Alright, so that's kind of cool there. So I can do that, and then uh, do I just, like, exit? Is that how I do it? Just try that. And yeah, check that out, guys. So right there, you've got two walls. How cool is that? Uh, right there. So I'm going to pop this puppy there. We're going to do two more here. And then we're going to do that. So what do I need left? We can need, uh, we need some of this, but we're doing stuff, guys. We're getting it done. We're getting it done. Uh, food, though. Man, I need food. Maybe I should make that fishing rod, eh? Curious to see how fishing works. I'm excited there's fishing in this. Uh, do you know how many survival games overlook fishing? And it is my one bitch about them, because, uh... And I think I told you, I, I was a big outdoors guy, uh, I took a class on butchcraft, not a ton, not great, I can't do like, I suck at the, uh, bow drill, but, uh, I, I can manage some things, but, uh, yeah, so I think, I feel like as somebody who grew up learning how to fish and, uh, do all that stuff, I need a fire going, man, these mushrooms are gonna be a case of food, aren't they? Check that out! At night! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna sound so hokey. I really don't care. The, the little dude's adorable. He is. Our little Gary. He, he's coming up in the world, guys. He's trying. Um, and, of course, can't do a Let's Play without the dog barking in the background. Uh, only, you know what's funny is, he will be quiet all day. I do a let's play, and then he tries to bark. Like, he was sleeping until I started this video. Him and the cat both. Um, totally just zonked out, and now, of course, that I'm doing this, he's like, What? You're recording? Let me interrupt that shit. Um, so let's see. Oh. It's Kung Fu you. Um, but no, I mean, the controls, you saw how fast I got them. They don't take much time at all to get. And, uh, again, love that about this game. It lets you instead focus on the fun things. Uh, Permadeath is worrying me a little, because I feel like you could really sink into making your house here, and then die, and that would suck. But, uh, you know... It's also good for showing you the ropes, maybe. Maybe I learned from it. And there's XP. I don't know what that does. I'd assume that slowly you get maybe some advantages if you die and come back. So that could be good. So we're going to do that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what... Oh, God. Jeez, dude. That guy snuck right up. He, did, is it me or did he literally look like play? Like this texture... Uh, the texture works pretty good on him, though. I, I feel like he looked exactly like clay. Like real clay. That was very convincing. Um, do I have enough... I need a roof, man. My poor little dude getting rained on. It's probably not good for him, is it? Uh, I wish that I had a better source of food. I do not like that I'm stuck punching trees for now. Especially because my hunger is obviously going to be what does me in. Um, sometimes guys drop things, I've noticed, but I'm not catching enough food here. I need to 
up my food danger. Yes! Just as I said that, a great shiny, what do they call that again? Flapple? Comes bounding out. Let's eat the flapple, please. Yes, can I eat this? No, can I eat you? No. Um, and I cannot impregnate the ground yet. Maybe I should. Um, well, first things first, let's get this other one here. I feel like we're starting to get stuff done. That is lovely. Yes, alright. So, now we are going to go and use C and do the same thing here. We're going to make this a... Uh, nope. Alright, does that connect there with that one? That connects there with that one, I feel like. Yes! Okay. So see, that's not too hard, guys. That's actually pretty easy to build in this game, so I did that. Small little home. You know, nothing nothing huge, modest. So I'm gonna pop these in here. And it uh, seems to get saved at the start of every new day. Or every new. What the hoof is this? Oh no, get back here. This one's running from me. Don't play. You one of these things that's gonna like lead me to my doom? What are you? Alright, you you go drowned. Alright, so I do not have enough to build more. But I feel like I can see my Alright, this son of a bitch is gonna get his ass kicked. He's getting annoying. I'll muff it the hell out of you in a minute. Apparently I won't, will I? Trees, I need trees. Let's go get food. I'm barely hanging on here. I need to chop a lot. But I do notice as I'm doing this, his hunger is going down, so... There is a risk-risk reward thing with the hunger, too. The more you do, the hungrier you get, just like the real life. So let's shove some food in his face mouth and uh, go for the best. Can I trap this little thing? I feel like he is just plotting, you know? He's waiting for his turn. Come on, baby. Give me food. Food for my face. I'll take all the wood there, man. Shit, that's a lot of wood. Alright, so, you're doing alright with this little guy. Um, and as you can see, crafting is not too shabby, so... Right off the bat, I'm curious, because the texture work is remarkably cool. Um, I don't know, I don't really have any other game that this reminds me of, and like I said, I like that. I own over 500 games on Steam, guys. Um, because I started way back in the day, and I've done Humble Bundles, you name it. Believe me, I ain't no, like, Daddy Warbucks or nothing. A lot of that's Humble Bundle stuff and all that, so don't, don't get too excited about it. Um, but just the fact that I am able you share reviews like this with you and gameplay like this with you makes me feel happy because uh, frankly this game makes me feel happy. It's uh, it's an interesting little game. I think that this is a deceptively good game right here. Now we're making the fishing rod, y'all. Uh, and we're gonna do a little fishing. We're gonna try it. Let's hit the left button. Power fish. After dangling your rod into the water for a little while, a little fishy will appear. The little fishy will dance around the red dot, which will slowly get larger over time. When the fishy touches the red dot, it'll turn green, and that means it's time to click the left mouse button. Time it correctly, you'll snag the fishy. Time it incorrectly or take too long, and the fishy will swim away. 
Wrecking some bait and keeping in your inventory helps in several ways. The fishy will probably appear sooner. The red dot starts larger, grows faster, and gets bigger. Less chance the fishy will get bored and swim away. More likely to catch rare fishies, so they're rare fishies. Alright. And this game has me using the term fishies. Um, do I keep this here? I wonder if we're going to keep it here. My hunger is not great, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, historic moment here, guys. First fishy. First fishy. Come on, baby. Come on. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Get the effing you want it. You need this. Go to the hook. Don't you, don't you fuck with me, fish. Go for it. Come on. Come on. We can do it. We can do it. Be zen-like. Be one with the fish. Oh, I got a boot. Well, that sucked. Alright, so my first four in the fishing did not go well. And, uh, I got a boot, though. So, leather. Oh, boot unbootified. Um, I did read enough to know that if I hit... Uh, tab, I can switch back to my little Kung Fu staff, so that's good. Um, do I have enough to make anything else? I don't know. I feel like that shovel would be good. That's, I think, gonna be one of my next things I make. But for now, let's go and hit trees and grab ourselves. I know, baby. I hear ya. Let's go and get ourselves some numbers, shall we? I'm gonna try to be smooth and not encounter the rock dude right off the bat. Whether or not he sees me is another matter. Alright, we are not getting the num nums I need. So let's go deal with Koopas and Jalen here. Oh, God! He just rocked me like a hurricane. See what I did there, guys? That's a no. Everybody's a critic. Alright. So let's try this again. And we are off to the jungle. And we are going to try and get... No! Where's the foods? We need the foods, please. Needs the foods. You thing, I don't know. Save complete. Those trees over there look mighty fertile. Can I eat any of this? I know. Actually, I'm actually really hungry too. <laughs> hungry in real life. Didn't even realize it. Alright, well. Uh, let's at least start digging, okay? I got a few seeds I can bury. I don't know what they're gonna do, but we'll try some stuff. That's, uh, it's the least I can do here. Alright, so let's bury something. Uh, let's bury an acorn. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll bury something else here. And... Oh, okay, what am I doing? And, uh, we'll bury the seed. Oh, okay, so the seeds are cropped, so I definitely want to be... You want to be burying them, definitely. Bury all that shit, yes. Food. Food. Give me this. So we're gonna have ourselves a little farm out here. Old McMuffet had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he started to... Oh, he didn't do shit now. Okay. Alright. No, no, no. Oh, what did I do? Okay. Uh, so, let's grab the coal. Grab some coal. No, not ready yet. Okay. Uh, I, I have got to do something for the food, man. My guy is dying. And I do not want to die yet. I have put some work into this here. Um, it'd be lovely if this game had a little soup kitchen, you know? 
Or maybe even just like some free floating fruit that you could see in a tree would be good. Like a like a fruit tree, so you knew if it had fruit in it. Um I read somewhere that there's like an animal that is like a pig. Something like that where you can find this little like pig like creature and uh but I do not see any creature that is telling me that it's got the good num nums I'm probably gonna die. We'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. I am not doing good here at all guys. Uh God. I did not manage my stuff well. I will kill you and hope to God that you are edible. I do not care. Just give me meat. Please do God give me meat. Meat? Meat? Ah, oh, you dick. This will be my end, I am afraid, my friends. This will be my end. My poor baby. He tried. He tried. Come on! No fruit. No fruit. Yeah, I'm dead. So, some different things I'm gonna try next time with them. Uh, we're gonna do another... We're gonna do another playthrough with this, I think. Uh, I'm not gonna lie here. I'm uh, slightly addicted to this, I think. For one thing, we're gonna start some things earlier. Like we're gonna start trying to fish earlier and all that, but this guy's as good as toast. There is nothing I see as far as a resource to grab food right now. Um, I'm trying. Come on, maybe, 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 no. Oh, look at him clap. Okay, so. Okay, alright, so see here, these must be locked. Uh, and then I guess, uh, after I do that, I survived six days, trapped 20 trees, murdered 15, okay, so, maybe not bad for a first attempt, guys, what do you guys think? Um, yeah, no, you don't know, we don't know, I don't know. So, there he is. So, we're gonna try again, and it, true to, true to the word, from her death, it deletes your save game. Now, other modes are easy. Permadeath is disabled, XP is disabled, and you regenerate health. So this one is like... Okay, so you don't have to have permadeath, and hard, what is hard? Tougher beasties, faster hunger loss. Ooh, we're not doing hard. Creative. Can't do under creative craft anything you want. If you're new, you should probably try another mode first. Because this is a big spoiler. Easy, normal. We're gonna we're gonna keep with normal. Ain't no punk bitch. Let's do normal. Um totally enjoying this. Very interesting game. Uh and I can tell now that this will not be leaving my computer. There are a few games that have consistently stayed on my PC. Uh, and this is definitely going to join them. Um, I encourage people to try games like this because uh, if you look at our channel, we don't normally do a lot of big AAA stuff, and that's not to be edgy. It's because everybody's seen it, you know? But you find gems like this, and I do mean gems like this, that have so much love put into them, so much care put into them, and you can just see it's something new. And let's be honest, in a world full of zombie survival games, this is a breath of fresh air right here. I am so sick of zombie survival games that I don't even cover them. Uh, I've had requests to cover lots of them, and uh, the answer is usually no. And it's not to be a big jerk, it's just because, guys, come on, man. There are a dime a dozen now. But you take a look at this one with this interesting little character. Uh, he's kind of quirky, he's cute. Uh, and look at already, this world is different than the last one I was in. I didn't have this lush little, you know, 
This looks like a huge mix of, uh, oh god. I cannot yet kung fu. <laughs> guy's voice is ridiculous. Uh, so one thing I'm going to do right off the bat is try really hard to make only one platform and make some other stuff with it. We're gonna we're gonna get the house decorated, if you will. We're gonna get a fire, uh, so I can make a campfire. So campfire and a fishing rod are gonna come before just a straight up uh, huge house because obviously that was a big no no, and I wasted time doing things I didn't need to do. I also love that that alien there is clearly aliens. Alien, you know, take off of that. Um, Headbutton the hell out of this, because that's how we roll. So, we're going to get enough uh, to get three things made. The normal weapon, the other thing, and then maybe some tools. I didn't do tools last time. I feel like I need tools. Um, I don't feel like my location was great either. Uh, I do want to be near the water. Maybe that doesn't apply in Wrong World. Um, maybe it doesn't matter as much. But if I can get fishing down, then obviously, you know, you teach a weird bear creature to fish for a day, uh, any fishes. I messed that saying up anyway, but I feel like in a game like this, it fits. So I'm going with it. Now you'll notice I have not yet touched food. I am saving it for when I am super friggin' hungry. So that way I'm not wasting my resources as much. Now let's take a look here. What is that thing? It's like a little mini elephant, almost. Alright. Uh, so we're gonna grab some stuff here. We're gonna make the weapon first, as I did last time, but that's where the similarities will end. I feel like the weapon is a must-make. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not. Oh, God. No, 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 no. You son of a bitch. How are you gonna mess with my weapon? Huh? That will come through the shit out of you right now. Um, anyways, so this here... Whoa, what is all this? Oh, okay, so, so you see that tip there. That's kind of what I did, but I didn't know that's what I did. So yes, in fact, I did a roll. First things first now, got to get that combat staff made. Important. Uh, for obvious reasons. Stuff seems to just sneak up on you. Uh, we're going to kill that weird little creature. Where is it? Damn rock. Alright, now that across the water, I know you saw it. It was unique. Looked a little like a Hollywood sign, only not Hollywood. It said something different. And a. Uh, maybe it's an. Um, what do they call it when you mix words up there? An amalgam? I know I said that wrong again. Oh, I got one. Meat is murder, it says. <laughs> Alright, so those are our cows. So we finally have an answer. That's, if I find those, they don't fight back. They provide meat. And I do not know what that crazy-ass thing is, but it is like a weird psychic cat. Show no mercy. Give no mercy. How'd y'all like that there? The little jumperoonie. Oh, you... A little Pokemon action, eh? You're gonna try and... What is this? I got a coin? Alright. It said hunting radioactive webbits. Love it. Alright, guys. Now, I feel like we've already gotten a little more productive than last time. I'm gonna go back and make our home somewhere near that water again, if I can. Uh, or maybe we'll travel a little. Maybe we'll get out of this and try and find a place where those little... There's got to be a place where those little cow things are more abundant. 
Um, but if they do spawn around here, can we take a... Let's just take a little walk and see. I see two, three of them, and I know maybe I'm in good hands like I'll state, and that they will spawn around here. Don't know. I feel like the tree ratio is not good. And you need a lot of wood in this game, so I want to make sure that I am doing that right. Um, what is that over there? It's a very big rock. Hearing some weird sounds too. What is this here? It's not early. It looks like a like a telephone booth. Open door. Insert coin. Select item. Did I find a secret? I uh, don't know. I don't have a number to go yet. Well, that's interesting. That'll that'll probably come in handy later. Grab your coin. Grab it. Grab it. Well, and is it snowing? Well, this has fully dynamic weather then. Well, I'll say one thing. This game is certainly full of surprises. I did not expect a phone loop like that uh, to just be chilling out there, and then on top of it. Uh, to be able to call numbers. So can I phone home? Is that like a... Um, where will I find a phone number, I wonder? My goal in this, at least for this Let's Play, is to try and survive long enough to establish a decent base and food source. So we're going to try that. Um, but what I am also trying to do is figure out where more food is. Where are those little cow type things? Where are they? These little sons of bitches are everywhere. Around here anyway. I saw one in the background on top of it. And while they provide rocks, which is good, um, they do not provide food, so I don't want to waste a lot of my time killing them. I feel like every time you fight, you waste resources, or at least your energy. And, uh, I'm trying to be thrifty with all that. Okay, so I can swim. That is also good to know. That is an unusual looking item out here, so let's go. Oh, what in the. It's. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It is a drinking bird. Now that is funny. That is funny. Oh god. Two rocks, guys. Two rocks. In between a rock and a rock. Oh, right. The stick can hit more than one thing. That's right. Oh my god. So glad I made this stick. Again, things you don't think you'll hear yourself say. Now, as you see, I have not yet touched the food. Uh, we're going to skip the mushrooms this time, guys. At least for now. And we're going to try to build a home where... I want a little place with water. I'd like to hit this desert up a little more, this little oasis again. These things are hilarious. They feel like something out of a Atari game if it had just gone straight up stupid. You know what I mean? <laughs> like if Hubert had kicked something's ass and it was still dazed, it would be that thing. You know, like, what am I doing? I don't know. I, just, uh, I like that. I like that thing. Ooh! You are new. Do you do anything? Man? Oh my sh Oh god. I don't know if it sent that to me, but I'm hoping not. I get the feeling there's something I can do with that thing, but I don't know what yet. Um, there's a sand castle. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on in this game, actually. For a little game that's fun and cute, there is a surprising amount you can actually really do in this. 
Um, and again, loving it. I always enjoy games where I can do a lot of different things and you get variety and you get uh, skills that you can use and we are now to the point that I like to call the final countdown. So here's how I'm doing this, guys. Shit. Here's how I'm not doing this, guys. Um, how much more do I need? I need more wood. I got more than enough rock. So here's my plan here. We're gonna build a single place and then a campfire there. And then just start. Just start to see what we can make. So let's hammer the hell out of this. My hunger is looking bad. I know it's looking bad, but I'm hoarding food like crazy right now for a good reason. And which I've already told you guys. And that is it before I have my guy be a little piggy. And he ate everything all at once, and then I had nothing left when I really needed it, and I don't want to do that. So we're going to basically bare bones him and try and do just the essentials um, with him and see how we do. So now I should have enough. Uh, we're going to hop this up here. Just flat spaces for now. We'll worry about adding in all the walls and all that crap later. For now, let's just... Ba-boom. Uh, and this is going to be my my workspace here this is actually going to be my entrance so this is going to be like my ooh, my crafting space uh, so we're going to put if I have enough and I hope I do Shit. Okay. so there's a smelter too there's an anvil there's a cooking pot I feel like campfire is definitely one of the next things I need to do uh, it can help me cook mushrooms, uh, and a workbench, right? So, let's get this going, guys. Don't you worry, fella. This time I got you. And is it me, or is it now that I'm saving more? I have more. Um, we're gonna t what is this? Can I bury that? No, no, that's useless. Uh, I'll eat a flapple. Do that boot. Get the seed. I want the seed. Get the seed. Because the seed is a crop. And we definitely want that stuff going on. As a matter of fact, um, before I even do any of this other junk, we're going to go right near the start. Right about here, maybe. And uh, let's build a shovel. Well, piss on you. And then we will, uh, we're gonna start. If I can plant it in this. What in the world is that? What happened there? Look at how beautiful the sky is, by the way. I just really noticed that. <laughs> that it is literally like a painting. That is, uh, that's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so, alright. So, we're gonna be doing this. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Can I just say something? I started off in this giggling, laughing, and all that, and now I am, like, into this, man. Uh, that's kind of a testament to this game, I think, that it, oh, it sunk me in, sucked me into its little world, and I went from, oh, this is just a cutesy game, to, like, I'm legitimately trying to survive now, so, uh, don't, don't let it fool you. there's, there's definitely some strategy in this puppy, and, uh, it is actually quite an interesting game, uh, I am... Pretty impressed with how uh, how into this game I am. We're gonna put the garden here, I think, right behind the house. You son of a bitch! 
So we're gonna do that first, and then I'll come back and do the other. The garden takes more. Why am I not grabbing all this? Because it's right there, and right now we're worried about the garden. So first things first, we give him a flap on. God, I am not like get my ass kicked here. Um, oh, that's right. All right. So if you attack, if you hit attack and then you like hit jump, you do this cool move there. Oh no! I bit it, guys. I bit it. Hey, I like boxing gloves that I can make. Uh, rather bouncy fist cushions. I dig it. Anyways, so this is Wrong World. Uh, I can tell you now, I can tell what I'm going to be doing this evening. Uh, I really enjoy this game. Uh, the basics are easy to pick up. Quick to play. But surprisingly deep. You, you, you'll find yourself really wanting to explore, and I feel like this game rewards exploration, exploration, blah, um, and it has a lot going on with it, it's a lot of fun, it's playful, I like it, uh, so definitely make sure you click the link below, get your copy of this, definitely fun, wrong world, uh, I'm Bones, thank you guys so much for checking this game out with me, and, uh, you guys have a great day, thank you.